Welcome Aries to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition bringing messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit me on my website at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels and highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. Alright guys, so I had to redo this video because my audio wasn't recording. So I hope that uh, everything is well. Uh, so far it looks like it's recording well. Okay, if you guys could actually see it right here in the corner. It's like that red thing up there. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys. The other thing I wanted to mention is that I do have five uh, beautiful sage wands left in my shop. Now I only make this once a year and so if you guys are interested go ahead and take a look. I only have five left. Okay guys this is a limited edition spiritual sage wand for your protection and um I only have five left guys okay and finally uh i do have a new product this is the minty salts okay now i made this for those who uh suffer from allergies or sinus issues okay and um it must be that time of the year because um for me it started since last week and um i've tried this guys and it is wonderful that's why i decided to share it with the collective because it really did help me and so uh, if you get the tube uh, you can use this for aromatherapy purposes or for like a manicure or pedicure take which one uh, that you would like to use because uh, this is a very silky and smooth when you um, put it on your hand it actually uh, put moisture uh, back into your skin and um, also if you use half the salt into like a tub of water and um, with with hot water and put a towel over your head uh, you can use this for aromatherapy. Um, you can get up to two uses off with the tube and up to four with the um, with the container over here. Uh, also, uh, you could just use the full container into a bath. So uh, you could uh, sit and soak into a, um, a relaxing bath, especially if you have body aches and pains. Um, it's also helpful for that as well. And if you like uh, the uh, smell of menthol, okay or something minty uh and fresh and so this will definitely uh clear up your sinuses um it was a wow thing i was like oh my god if i was like oh it gave me sinus relief guys okay um so uh i really hope that you guys enjoyed and also i do have it in a bath bomb over here now uh this particular one uh is very foamy okay now uh the scent is not as strong in the bath bomb as it is with the bath salts so just letting you know if you want more of a medicinal um usage then i would get the salts as opposed to bomb okay the bomb is is to help make your skin silky and smooth it's bubbly it's more for relaxation and, and calming okay so with that being said guys okay i was using the kipper deck so far uh, you know when i was using the kipper deck there was a lot of hard energies and so i wanted to switch it up and so aries okay uh, i'm changing it with you so let's hope that uh you get some positive messages but let's see right <laughs> because so far guys okay uh the messages are coming out very hard, but it comes out with a happy ending, okay? So, that's good news, right? See, and this one does not belong. <laughs> Maybe some of you guys are getting a room, a hotel motel suite. Let's see. Are you uh, meeting up with your uh, person in a hotel, Aries? You know, I took it out, so I guess you're not. <laughs> That must be for somebody. So, let's see. 
Sperry, can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to uh, the person that's connecting to Aries in love in the month of September? Okay, let's see. What can you reveal to me about the energies of this person coming towards Aries in September? What is the love life looking like for my lovely Aries? Let's see. Wow, we have a divination abuser. Someone is watching too many tarot, okay? Or you guys are just doing way too much. Maybe you're pulling cards every day, like every other hour, who knows? Um, but I'm definitely seeing something as that. Also, we have a queen rising, stepping into power, praise coming up and in the spotlight. Now, I really feel like for some, okay, your person uh, is stepping into their power. Maybe they're being more recognized recognized okay and that's for some also we have no facts uh never has the facts make shit up and lies i really feel like your person does have the facts because i did see this come in the upright okay or the reverse and also we have wants you back so your person definitely wants to have you back okay that is a fact okay your person is raising their vibration and also we have dirt digging looking for dirt on you or vice versa uh, this actually came up uh, sideways, okay? Similar to this energy, always partying, party, partying, sorry. Your person used to play around, okay? Uh, maybe they're all very jealous of you, Aries. Uh, your person isn't doing that anymore. So this tells me uh, that your person has leveled up. They're a queen, okay, or it could be a king rising, okay. Um, I really feel that uh, maybe they, they do look into tarot. Maybe um, they're doing stuff that you don't know about, you know, checking up on you, Aries. But I see your person really wants to have you back, okay. That is a fact. <laughs> You know, for some, maybe you're sharing uh, YouTube videos with your person about, you know, the situation between you two. And I did take out this card, okay? Getting a hotel room. Now, I took it out. Um, you guys aren't doing that anymore. I feel like you guys used to meet up with the, uh, each other in a hotel. Let's see. Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is going on beneath the surface with this person that is... Uh, coming towards Aries and love in September. Who is this person? Please bear it. Wow, we have a true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. You know, it actually came in reverse. Maybe they didn't know it was a true love connection. And look, we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So they admire that you do love yourself, right? Let's see. There was one car that fell on the floor. make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're going to take so i really feel like your person definitely wants to make the effort and come forward towards you and that is the fact so the fact is that your person admires you okay they're leveling up that they want to be a queen or a king you know take it as it resonates but someone here is doing too much like tarot okay tarot i don't know uh, whatever divination that you guys do okay uh, that's what I'm saying. This person is really into you. <laughs> Just saying. Let's see what else. Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is going on with your person? How do they currently think of you? How do they feel? What do they want? What do they want to do about the situation? What is the challenge and what is the outcome? So I feel like they're stuck. Why are they stuck? You know, oh, they're keeping secrets. They're not telling you something. 
Um, maybe they feel like they're not good enough. Maybe they have some insecurity issues. They're waiting for the right time. Uh, for some, you've known this person for a while. Okay, I'm getting like uh, six or seven years. Could be months for some. Uh, I'm also picking up that maybe they're waiting for the winter months. Okay, and that's for a few of you. What I'm also saying is that they, they need to hold back before they can pursue you. Okay, because there's a karmic situation that still needs closure. So for some, your person is actually stuck in a karmic relationship and um, they're not feeling very balanced and uh, they really want to get out of the separation between you two. Okay, so I feel like it, it's still like a repeat uh, energy that I want picking up on my uh, Aries. Your person definitely wants to come through and communicate that they um, they wish that they could be with you. Okay. You're everything that they've desired. There, there's still something missing. Um, they're looking for that final cup. They definitely want to have a new beginning with you. This is actually really beautiful. You know, I'm kind of glad I swapped out the decks because with the Kipper, I mean, it, it wasn't easy. <laughs> because uh, if I were to keep the Kipper deck, uh, what you guys did not see is that your person was being stuck because of a child situation and they feel like it was the honorable thing to do uh, to stay stuck in whatever marriage or commitment that we're in because of kids. Okay. So, um, you know, again, I keep getting that similar energy with you, uh, Aries. I really wanted to switch things up, but uh, for the most part, your person does want to have a new beginning with you. Okay, so that's good news. They used to, uh, I feel that um, they used to watch you a lot um, because I see that they're into this divination. Okay, um, and they're leveling up. That's what I'm seeing. They're stepping into their power and uh, they're coming into their true authentic self. That's actually a really good sign. And exactly. So there is some sort of revelation or some sort of clarity that's coming towards them. And it's in regards to uh, them making an offer to you. They finally see the truth that you make them happy. This is beautiful. So I am so glad, Aries, that you're actually having a beautiful reading you know but there's some there's there's a uh, beautiful energies that's coming forward towards you and uh, they really want to balance some things out they're really trying to be strong they're really trying to find the courage to do this so they can offer their love to you so this is really beautiful your person could apologize to you they could come in with a love offer and um yeah, I feel like they want to apologize for, for not being able to come fast enough. You know, I feel like, you know, life got in the way for some, you know, and they know that they sabotage a beautiful connection with you as the empress. You know, they know that you are the one and you make them happy. You are the missing cup. You know, I really feel like um, your person is going to come through to you in the month of September. And uh, in October, you guys are actually going to be together. Okay. Um, I see that they want to get out of the separation. They feel stuck and trapped. Okay. Of making a decision. There's a lot of major arcana here. You could be doing with a Capricorn. Could be a Gemini for some. And uh, I see that it's not over yet. They've made a decision that they need to close out the karmic situation and tell you the truth okay that they want you they want you to be their wife wow so uh wife or husband okay take it as it resonates guys uh your person is really thinking that they've been holding back on their their secrets okay now they weren't very clear on how they can make this happen wow so that they can actually be with you in the physical so no more hotel room right <laughs> <laughs> there was a reason why I took this card out, guys, because I feel like you guys used to get a room. Now you guys get to have a house together, okay? I feel like um, there's movement forward uh, from your person, Aries, that they're actually um, taking action to really be with you. They're leveling up. They actually see the signs. Okay, that's what I'm getting with this divination abuser. I really feel like they, they actually do watch uh, some YouTube videos. Okay, about like what's next, you know, what's coming towards them. You know, should they take the leap towards their, their lovely Aries, right? That's what I'm saying. That's actually really good. 
they love how you respect yourself, you know, and you know, they're, they're feeling stuck. They're feeling trapped, but I really feel like they're going to get out of this because this is self-limiting beliefs, you know, and it's temporary. So what I'm saying is that they're thinking they've been holding themselves back about this connection, okay? And they feel that they are blocking themselves from feeling hurt. Right now, they're manifesting a way to offer you a relationship, a commitment. The other thing I'm also saying is that right now, they're holding back of wanting a reconciliation. Your person is uh, really wanting to make this offer. This is what they want, but they're holding themselves back. That's why I feel like it may happen at the end of September going into October. Yeah, their ego here is in the way of uh, leaving a past situation to be with you. I saw that the Ten of Cups was with you, but right now they're at the Eight of Cups. All they have to do is just walk away from a past connection to be with you in the present moment. Yeah, I feel like they're going to tell you the truth that they, they really feel you are their soulmate. They've been thinking of you, okay? They're going to work on themselves to get a divorce. So if your person is married or if they're in a commitment, they're going to tell you. They're going to make the effort. You are their true love connection, okay? This is a love of a lifetime. They love how you've been loving yourself first. They're coming back for you. That's what I'm saying. They're coming back. They don't want any conflict, competition, arguments. They want to get out of their head of feeling stressed about this decision. And I just feel like, you know, they want to get out of being cold, of, of like not really expressing themselves about this third party situation, about not being able to work on this. You know, and I feel like they're just holding on to something when they know that they can have so much more. You know, your person has been um, contemplating about this connection. You know, for some, you're dealing with the Sag, okay? And I really feel like your person is really trying to balance out their emotions. It's going to take a little bit of time, okay? And I know you, you know, if you've been with me for a while, what's my favorite P word? Patience. And I know Aries, I say this to you all the time in almost every video that I do for you. But if you have patience and you love this person, it's going to be worth it, okay? Because they're finally breaking free from this karmic situation to be with you. Yes, Emperor. They're going to be with you. Like, they're, they're being patient. Like, they know, okay, that they, they, they're into you. And you could be dealing with another Aries. It's just the timing isn't right. You got to give them time. And they're just dealing with, with themselves, okay? Yeah, they're letting go of whatever is in the way of this connection. I feel like within two months, guys. It may not happen in, in the month of September. I feel like October going into November you know towards the end of the year that's why i saw in the beginning um possibly around like the winter months your person is going to make you an offer for some you're going to get a proposal you know and i really feel like for others you're gonna uh actually be in a real relationship with them you know but you have to give it some time because i feel like they're actually getting out of a relationship with the karmic your person is leveled up. That's what I'm seeing, guys. That's really beautiful. So it's the beginning stages of your person making a long-term commitment towards you, Aries. And that's a beautiful message. Wow. Well, let's see. Spirit, can you please reveal to me what are the messages that your person like to say towards you at this time? What are the messages? What does your person want to say? Exactly, man. Look, I'm not going to lie, okay? The message is coming out. I 
I'm sorry it's taking me so long. Please be patient with me. <laughs> they know they're taking a long time. You know, look. I'm scared that I might get hurt. I'm sorry that I wasn't open to you. Please forgive me. They're asking for forgiveness. I was being selfish and I'm sorry. Please don't leave me stay. I wanted to reach out to you and speak to you, but I always hold back. They always hold back, you know, but I feel like they're, they're trying their best to not hold themselves back anymore. Okay. September is like a transitional month for your person. I feel like they're actually uh, letting go of a karmic, getting that divorce so they can be with you. I feel like in a couple more months, okay, you guys can actually be together. It's not going to be in the hotel anymore. You actually get to go to their house. Like, seriously, guys, like, I feel like it's for, like, a handful of you, okay, if you feel like this resonates, so let me know, guys, so let's go ahead and see what is, uh, the guidance. That's why I took the card out. It's not gonna be the hotel, you're gonna go to their house. You get to meet their children. <laughs> You know, and, and get get what it feels like to be a part of their family. They want you back. <laughs> what else could this mean? There are uh, always multiple ways to look at every situation. Our first reaction is usually rooted in our fears and limiting beliefs. Look at a situation today by stepping outside of the trigger and ask, what else could this mean? Today's soul action, is there something your soul is calling you to learn in this moment? Or is there a pattern that is ready to be broken? Walk in the other person's shoes and see it from their perspective. If it doesn't involve someone else, ask yourself, what is, uh, how is life happening for me right now wow what else could this mean right you know i feel like you know september is a moment of reflection and it's it once you think about it then it's time to act that's what i'm seeing wow so i really hope that this was helpful let me know thank you all for all your comments your likes your shares and subscribes and if you're new to my channel welcome i provide daily guidance messages here for the collective and if you'd like to book a personal reading you can visit me on my website it's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com and you can also follow me on ig at scorpio moon intuition i hope you all have a lovely day and i'll see you next time Bye bye